Hey guys, here is your tour of Casa Grande. I know you were excited to see some more of this house. So there's so many wonderful features. I just did a tour inside and I can't wait to show you guys. As you can see out front here, we have around four parking spaces on each side if you're not block blocking the main entryway. There is a two car garage here as well and it is gated as you can see. They just have the gates open right now. There's a side entryway that walks straight back to the pool area on the right side of the home. And the agent did let me know that they are going to paint the garage doors. They need a little freshening up. And through the front door foyer area, we have a beautiful foyer here with a, a rounded staircase, an elevator right up here that goes to the second floor. And, um, it's on the right side here as we come in. On the first floor down here, we have tons of bunk rooms, plenty of sleeping in here. We have two bunks in this room. Over here on the left, we have a full kitchen. The appliances in here are not even a year old yet, so brand new here. We have an ice maker, so you got a full kitchen in here. Full bath as well. Super helpful coming in from uh, the pool area, so no one's trekking upstairs. We have a game room with a foosball table and a nice seating area here with the TV and some additional storage. Straight out into the pool area. All right, I'm going to take you around. There is a master here on this first floor as well or not a master but it does have a um a uh i'm at lost for words right now i can't remember um a little uh kitchenette in there so we have four bunks in this room with the tv and a little lounge area as well Laundry downstairs. And here's a little suite downstairs. So we have a walk-in shower, new quartz countertops, and nice little suite area right off the pool with some built-in cabinetry. And here's the little uh, sort of wet bar that I was telling you about. And this door, we did not open this one. I do wanna walk you out there. I'll come back down for that one once I show you the rest of the house. Will you open that bottom door so I can come back out and show them the pool? That's the only one we didn't, that's the only one we didn't unlock. <laughs> so coming up the wood staircase here. We have um, a little balcony out here on the front side of the house with some additional storage. Here you can see this wonderful chandelier. It's beautiful. And that goes up to the third floor over there. First, I'm gonna show you the second floor, which is the main living area in the kitchen. Here's where the elevator comes out right in front of us here on the second floor. First bedroom here, king size bed in here, very spacious. This doorway here on the left-hand side opens right up into um, a full bathroom. Nice high ceilings in here, crown molding throughout. Um, I'd say they're probably a 10 foot ceiling. Claw foot tub in this bathroom with a pedestal sink. And nice wide foyer here, perfect for entertaining. They have a table that seats 10 in here, very spacious. And uh, all this storage over here is lined for china with felt. The agent went ahead and let me know that in case you guys had any china you wanted to store. This door right, this swinging door goes over into the kitchen. 
tons of storage space in this kitchen, lots of cabinetry, uh, Viking cooktop, as you can see, gas, hood range. Uh, you got the bread warmers. We got a wall oven with a convection oven, a wine fridge, as well as a, uh, we got a double freezer in here, granite countertops, breakfast bar that goes over here into the breakfast nook. Gorgeous views, as you can see. Lots of windows in this room, tons of natural light, which flows nicely into the living room space over here. Tons of seating. It's a very nice space to entertain lots of people, which flows right over there into the um, dining room. All right, I'll take you outside and give you a peek at this view over here. Got a nice sunny day today. It's been kind of cloudy, so I was excited that we had a sunny day. Wonderful views from every floor here. Nice privacy wall, entertaining space, and a nice lovely pool. It's a gunite pool. She says it's got the darker paint on it, so it has that darker look to it, which is personal preference, I suppose, but I really like that. Nice sizable deck space here. You could even get some more uh, outdoor furniture here if you wanted to seat more people. You could do a sectional or something like that to seat more. All right, coming back inside. Oops. Sorry about that. I got hooked on the door. Wanted to show you the kitchen from this way a little bit better. So we've got, we've got two bunk rooms on the first floor. We have uh, one king bed on the second floor. And then up on the third floor, we have three bedrooms as well, um, including the master suite, which is pretty spectacular. So coming up on the right side over here, we have our first bedroom. It's not super big. There's additional laundry in this room. There's a stackable washer and dryer back there. This is a queen size bedroom over here. It does have a balcony to the front side of the house and a cute little breakfast snook, or I'm sorry, <laughs> um, I'm at loss for words today. Um, mini kitchen, uh, kitchenette with the fridge, microwave, and small sink. Right in front of us is the elevator access. This doorway here goes straight into the master closet, but I'm gonna take you around um, into the master suite as it should be seen versus going in through the um, closet. Over here on the left, we have the double uh, spiral staircase that takes you up into the lookout tower, the widow's peak, if you will. So here's the master suite, nice and spacious. We have some beautiful tray ceilings with some lighting up there. Wonderful golf views from the master suite. So this balcony is the same size as the one on the second floor here. Very spacious. It's just uh, not covered. So you can have full sun up here. Wonderful views. So over here, um, there's a separate doorway from the master that goes into a living space up here. Tray ceilings in this room as well as a fireplace. We also have the um, second set of French doors here that go to the patio with a small kitchen entertaining area here. There is no sink up here, 
or I'm sorry, no refrigerator, but you do have a sink into the second bedroom on this, or sorry, the third bedroom on this floor. This house is a maze, I'm telling you. It just keeps going and going. This is a king-size bed in this room. And here we have, um, again, it looks like they did the new countertops in here as well. And this is a walk-in shower. It's just um, the faux marble in here. So overall, um, I think that it's in really good shape considering it's a rental that sleeps this many people. It could maybe use a little bit of touch-up paint on doors and things, but um, sometimes you just come in here and they just, you know, they look in the pictures, but they're kind of worked over. Um, you know, the floor's in really good shape. It's not scratched up or anything, especially considering there's wood flooring in here. All right, so now I will take you over into the master bathroom. As you can see, sorry, I'm in the mirror. Um, we have a kind of very formal tub here with the four posts. Double separate vanities over here, his and hers, one on each side, as well as a dressing makeup table over here. There's no avoiding me in the mirrors here <laughs> in this bathroom. Hi guys. <laughs> And the shower is right here as well. Uh, let me see, there are two shower heads in here. This kind of looks like it needs to be redone a little bit. Looks a little bit funky down here. I like to point this stuff out because this is the stuff that they don't show you in the pictures. So the master shower would probably need to be redone. Um, in my opinion, I would probably redo it. Water closet over here on the left. And then into this ginormous closet that I um, had kind of showed you coming around. So tons of storage in here. Huge, huge walk-in closet. You could make probably do another bunk room or bedroom in here if you really wanted to. And then this loops right back around into the master suite with a, another commode on this side. So his and hers commode. Everyone has their own side of the bathroom plenty of space okay now I'm going to take you you have to bear with me up these two spiral stairwells let me show you these I'll probably switch out these lights and just do um, regular can lights or just take them out altogether I don't know if you need that much light in this hallway she may have had a ton of art on those walls um, the listing agent told me that the home was originally built for a lady who lived here full time. So she may have had a bunch of art here on the master, master floor. All right. So this room is encompassed by windows. It's just gorgeous up here. I think the only thing it's missing is a little mini wine fridge. So just views all around. Got plenty of room up here for a little patio set as well. Or a little, maybe a small sectional. Sorry, these doors are quite heavy. from the front side all right so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take you down outside on the pool area that door was locked and you kind of need two hands with the uh, with the hurricane doors so she went ahead and opened it up for me so now we're on the third floor Second floor, getting my workout in today. <laughs> and thank you. All right. 
It's like a maze in here. All right. Where's she open this one or the other one? Should have asked her. This one. Good. All right. So plenty of covered uh, entertaining space here. Again, so you have two levels of covered. Uh, nice outdoor kitchen over here. This is where the side entry from the garage comes back in that I showed you earlier. Wonderful pool. It's really a nice size as well. Some loungers over here and then we've got some extended pavers. So you have your own private beach entrance with a shower. Convenient for getting all that sand off. Nice quiet day today on the beach. It's a little bit chilly out. People are definitely wearing coats today. So let me give you the back view. It's a great house. There's plenty of room for more patio furniture out here too if you wanted to do like a nice big umbrella sectional hangout area with a nice little gas fire pit out here. That's what I would do right here on these pavers. So let us know if y'all have any questions. Um, she's going to go ahead and send over some more details and um, they should be getting photography soon. That way you can see everything in still time if you wanted to do that. So let us know what you guys think and if you guys have any questions.